Hello, my name is Dr. Mimi Creer. Today I'm coming to you to tell you about my whole pregnancy. I'm gonna start by answering some questions about my 34 weeks, and then I'm just gonna tell you everything from first trimester, second trimester, and now. Everything about my pregnancy, even things that they don't tell you. Let's get started. So first, how far along am I? 34 weeks pregnant, six days, and tomorrow I will be 35 weeks the last time i checked which was a few weeks ago baby was 3.3 pounds and they didn't tell me how long he was though all right my total weight gain i checked the other day i am 167 pounds and i started off as 135 pounds that is 32 pound weight gain <laughs> maternity clothes i really don't wear maternity clothes for the most part i just buy larger clothes because at the end of the day what am i gonna do with these maternity clothes afterwards but like the big dresses and things i can wear around the house and stuff like that stretch marks i really don't have any between like i don't know if you can see but i have like an itch in between my i guess where my panty line is and i'm thinking that if i get some there will be some right there hopefully not but we'll see sleep last night i did not sleep great at all most of the time i sleep good but i get up to go pee a lot so nobody sleeps well when they have to pee a lot this moments this week i went out to eat with a friend and she brought baby a gift and i took pictures and i was just really feeling myself and feeling beautiful um felt like for the first time in a while so that was really one of the great days where I got to go outside. Yes, I was tired and things of that nature. You could tell I'm about to pop, but it was a great day. Do I miss anything? Hmm. Sleeping on my belly. So I got my breast done and then I got pregnant and I haven't slept on my belly in over a year. That's about the only thing that I really miss. Movements. I love how baby is moving right now. Like he's making distinctive movements instead of just the little, the little weird movements. I say they were weird because they felt funny when it was just like, what is he doing in there? But an actual kick, an actual punch, an actual shifting over. I like it. it. Makes me feel like he's getting strong and he's knowing like what he's doing in there. Queasy sick or anything? Nope. I just have um, a lot of Braxton Hicks or whatever. Um, but I haven't had any sickness or anything this whole pregnancy. Labor signs, I feel like they're coming a notch. So I have discharge, but it's not clear or looking like, like my water broke, but I'm going to go get checked tomorrow just to double, triple, quadruple check. But I feel like that's just like getting me ready for when my water breaks. Um, my nipples have started hurting. They haven't hurt. I haven't had any breast pain the whole pregnancy. And that's probably due to the fact that I had just got my boobs done. So now they're, now I'm getting the sensations back and I'm like, oh, what is this? Nipple sensation. Um, I get the Braxton Hicks. They come, they're not coming like that time that I'll tell you about eventually, but, um, they're just, you know, a few here and there, nothing regular. Some they hurt. I had sex this week or last week and that definitely made some Braxton Hicks the worst they've ever been. Mm -mm, no more for me. No symptoms, just the breast pain and the Braxton Hicks, but no other symptoms. I haven't had any this whole pregnancy really. Cravings, I crave peanut butter. Like, look at this. <laughs> It just, I just take a spoon and just eat, eat, eat. Wake up in the middle of the night, eat, eat, eat. It wasn't upon a time, it was chips. But I'm glad it turned to something that's a little bit more healthy, more protein for my baby, the peanut butter. <sighs> rings, um, so I still wear my rings, but I have to switch fingers. So like this one goes to this finger, this one will go to this finger, and then this one goes on one of my pointer fingers. But we will see once I lose this weight, drop this baby weight, belly button. So I used to have a half any half outie. The top was out and the bottom was in. And so now I have a complete outie and it is flat. And I love it. It's like 
How often do you get to see the inside of your belly button? Never, never. And I get to clean it so great. It's like, cool. Am I happy I'm moody? This whole pregnancy, I've been happy. Um, I get moody when like high stress environments like kids. Like when my niece and nephew was here with me for some months. I was just fussing, fussing, fussing. And I'm like, but they've been with me before and I wasn't fussing this much. So I don't know whether that it has to do with the pregnancy and I want to get them again. Like, I don't know if it's next summer, you know, I'm going to be a new mama. So I don't know, but I know I'll be more cool or whatever. All right. But this has been like the most cool, calm and collected and mentally stable I've been in my whole life. And I love it. I love it. I'm like, I hope it continues after. So anyways, now I wanted to go through like my whole pregnancy. Let's start with the first trimester. Okay. And we're going to actually start a little bit before. So my conception date was January 19th. I know that because we tried to have this baby. And then I actually went to the doctor on the 19th. Luckily, I didn't get like an exam or nothing because that probably would have knocked my baby out or something. But anyways, I went to the doctor. We just did blood work to see if I even ovulated. And the um, levels were low. And then I had to go back a few more days. And the levels spiked. So I was like, I asked the doctor, like, am I pregnant? Could I have gotten pregnant? Blah, blah, blah. And by the time she answered, I was pregnant. Um, but So that was January 19th and February 2nd. I went for ultrasound and it didn't show signs of pregnancy. I was losing hope. And then by February 9th, I already knew I was pregnant. And I went back for dating ultrasounds. And I was going to show you guys this. So, I don't know if I have them in order. I don't think I do. Because that was February 20th. Well, maybe so. February 21st. No, that's not right because the very first, oh, I didn't get one on the first one because it only shows signs of pregnancy. Um, it was like February 20th or something. No, it was before that, like February 10th. Then finally, February 20th, I was like, it was saying that I was seven weeks and it showed my little baby. And then the next week, the third... He was a bigger baby. And also, by that time, I already knew I was having a boy. I did the sneak peek. I have that video up, so go check it out. And I was getting a lot of sonograms because I was going between two different places, a women's care center and my actual doctor. And then, March 13th, he was a wiggly, biggly baby. And this is him as a wiggly, biggly baby. I saw him moving and everything. And so that's that. And then my 20 week ultrasound, we saw him and his face. And does he look like me? And then the most recent one, he was a little chubby, chubby baby. But and he had his foot in his mouth. But we will see him tomorrow, which I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, back to the topic. So. I found out super early, probably at like four weeks I was pregnant, and the only symptom I really had was I had a glass of red wine, went down smooth, but when I tried to drink my favorite drink, which is whiskey, um, and every time I put it to my lip, like my, I had a heartburn feeling, and I was like, mm-mm. I had already took pregnancy tests into the doctors, there was no positive, but I was like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to take a test tomorrow, and I had a weird dream. Not that I was pregnant or anything, but... It was just a dream that was weird. So I took, I went out, took the um, ovulation test. It was positive and I should be ovulating, you know, a few weeks after my cycle. So, well, I mean, I guess I could have, but no. Anyways, and so, and I had marked my date for my cycle too. I had it like December 31st. So it was like so crazy because if I had my cycle December 31st, I shouldn't have got pregnant this January 19th, but I did. And, you know, if I had got pregnant earlier, which I didn't, then it would have shown on all the ultrasounds by then that I was pregnant. So anyways, let's get back to that. No symptoms, 
But when symptoms did kick in, it was just tiredness. This whole pregnancy, I've been tired, tired, tired. And I'm, it's a different kind of tired. It's tired where you can't do nothing. All I ever did was sleep. I wake up, go to school, go to sleep. Um, wake up, go here, go to sleep. On the drive there, on the ride, because my mother was here. Lucky me. That's probably why I didn't get sick, because she was taking great care of me. Thank you, mama. But anyway, sleep, 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 sleep. People call me lazy, but this baby took all my energy. So, anyways, um, so by Valentine's Day, I knew I celebrated with myself and my little bun bun. And I feel like I started showing immediately. But started I started showing immediately, but I stayed that size up until like now. And then finally, I'm like popping. So in the beginning, I had the perfect doula. Like she called once a month, we talk about things, she teach me things. And she was like, I got things to teach you, you know, when you get further along and what we're going to do. Somehow I got switched to a new doula. And I ain't heard from that lady since the day we got switched. And then I tried to meet her and I'm just not feeling her. I'm a doula. And even though I'm new, I know that I'm going to, you know, be there for the person. When I had my little episode in the second trimester where I was iffy of having contractions and things, she was not there for me. But anyways, um, so I had a doula, I had home health nurse, and um, I have food meals that I get. So everything has been going smooth. I eat healthy, baby's growing. Um, I felt the first kicks more towards the second trimester. So let's move to the second trimester. First trimester, no nausea, vomiting. I only ever threw up three times. And the three times had to do when I talked to this crazy girl. And that's when I should have knew I needed her out of my life. The first time I ever threw up had to do with her second time and third time. like, And I haven't threw up since I stopped talking to her. But, um... So, when the second trimester came around, no, I didn't get that lovely boost of energy that people say they get. Nothing changed. I still was sleepy. I was having back pain and things like that, but that was due to a car accident with that crusty, dusty girl. But I tried physical therapy. That didn't work. So, mainly, the best thing to do is sleep. I got the pregnancy pillow right here, which has helped so much. If you don't have one, get you one take it with you it's going to the hospital with me even if I have to buy like a new pillowcase or something there came a time when you know I was supposed to be gaining weight weekly and stuff but I maintained my weight because the nurses was like oh you look like you're getting way too fast and then the doctors was like oh we think you got gestational diabetes because I felt the first test so I was just like trying to eat healthy drink more water and doing that made me not eat or drink nothing and I maintained my weight and then when I was having the scares in the second trimester of um the contractions and it was too early for him to come and things and then they did an ultrasound and they were saying he was small I was like you know what scratch all of that I don't want to have no health issues my baby's about to grow I've been eating what I want drinking what I want which is mainly water but I add a little bit of apple juice to it and Things are going great now. Every other week, it's always something. First is, oh, we think you got gestational diabetes. Then two weeks later, oh, we think you got um, hyperthyroidism. And then now, it's like, now we got to send you to the cardiologist, something with your heart. But every single time, thank God, I'm healthy. What the cardiologist told me was that they just want to double check because when you're pregnant, they want to make sure that these changes are due to pregnancy and nothing else. So I understand. Braxton Hicks. Let's get into Braxton Hicks in third trimester. So nothing special about first and second trimester. Second trimester I started feeling kicks and all of that. But the Braxton Hicks for the third trimester been taking your girl out. They don't tell you that Braxton Hicks contractions hurt. When I say hurt, hurt. I'm like, yes, I'm taking an epidural. Can you give me some medicine right now? Because what is this? They hurt and they can last you know some they say that they're not regular but they don't tell you that they can last for hours and so I went to the hospital like five times and all they be like drink some water go pee this is just Braxton Hicks 
the first time it was contractions and they had to give me steroids and medicine to stop the contractions and then I haven't had the actual contractions since but the rest of the time Braxton Hicks and they like girl go home checked my cervix um checked on baby and everything's good <sighs> Mhm. Mm now another thing they don't tell you is your vagina is very sensitive during pregnancy so like sex kind of hurts them when they check your cervix that crap hurts nobody ever tells you that it hurts and then you just be sensitive down there even when i go take a shower like no soap use just wiping painful not painful painful but like sensitive you know that's all i pretty much have written down and now that i'm closer i earlier i gave you like my symptoms and things and i'm really happy that i'm finally having the breast pain because i was like am i gonna be able to breastfeed since i got my breast done you know what a month or two before i got pregnant but signs are there the signs are there and so since i'm having these signs i'm always curious like is this my early signs of labor the breast pain the braxton hicks the discharge i don't know but i want to thank you guys for watching stay tuned i have a lot coming up for you you see this area this is going to be baby boy's bedside nursery so watch me i'm going to get that done for you guys and i'm going to take you along with me i'm going to clean up I'm going to wash clothes the only reason i haven't like started yet is because i want it done in a certain way like the clothes got to be washed and i got to have somewhere to put the clothes before i wash them so and i haven't started nesting so i'm like is this baby gonna come on time or something because why haven't that urge came yet but i have that the decorating the organizing the decluttering what's in my baby bag as well as some what's in my bag my matching um like push gifts and stuff like that and me building the crib and the belly cast and then the labor video and let me show you my baby bump before i go make sure you like subscribe to see all my videos thank you come again <laughs> come again thank you i'll see you next time